Paramount Broadcasting, Norman Sox, but I have a briefing to give you. This is a, an announcement to the rest of this planet right now. I want you to understand this clearly. As a citizen of the United States of America, back off from my military. The staff in that military I hold priceless. Punky. Everything you hate about them, and ah, the way you're misused, ah, those people are pretty nice to me. They, they treat me pretty nice. I'm the least of the American citizens. They're very, very nice to me. Who are you to hate them? Who are you? When they're only there because you're so famous at cutting each other's throat and sabotaging and treachering each other, not military of this nation is posted there to try to keep the peace among your stupidity. You hate them, huh? That's a, how dare them do that, right? When all they're asking you to do is quit being damn cruel and treacherous to each other, and you just figure out ways all around that, no matter what they're doing to try to get you to settle down, you know how to rig that, don't you? Because you've been doing it for so long, that military is a, in a windstorm. The man passing gas in a windstorm effect over the treachery that you will continue long after the American military is dead and gone, if that's possible. Let's say they were dead and gone for a minute. No American military. No United States at all. Some other nation here. New China. What would you all be doing? Let's turn the clock way ahead. What has to happen? What's going to happen? You can see the moment of it. We'll disarm the American military. No, disarmed. Only there's no United States here. There's New China. Plenty of arms. Only they're not going to interfere in you. They'll just let you hack each other to pieces. Now what? They'll just ignore you. Don't need it. Don't worry about you. They ain't got enough to hurt them. Put up a shield and you know, a new joke and get through it. Now what? They'll watch you starve to death. Because you haven't lifted a finger in the welfare of each other for so long. What else are you going to have? You ain't got any investment to work with. Now what? And they barely have any. They'll take the crumbs that's left and do something lovely with it. Yay, Asia. What are the rest of you going to do? What's that make you look like right now, any of your remarks, you bimbo? With cruelty? But I'm figuring out how you can find somebody and torture them. Well, the staff of the United States don't torture people. Uniform wearers here don't find people and torture them. Like you do. Syria! Hey, Syria! Every human born in Syria! This is a United States citizen say, so you know what? You shame everything living, let alone Syria. How dare you mock two legs and sentiment the way you do. Cortex and logic. Bunk. Got it? Now you respect the staff in this military because they treat me real good at home. Got it? And you wouldn't be fighting. They wouldn't be there. Or as I'm concerned, I'd pull them home and let you fight. On. Go ahead. Because I tell you, there's plenty of creeps like feeding you the weapons to do it. You love go getting them. And you ain't got nothing to portray for the weapon. You just, ha! Come back, you're not producing nothing. <laughs> you hate each other too much to work together. Dumb over nothing. You're mad at God Almighty, every one of them, because you lied to God for so long, you wouldn't know God come up and bitch you. You lied about God, you put words in God's mouth for so long, all of you. You're quarreling, fighting pipes like Haibi. Europe is worse. I look at the Mediterranean Sea, it's horrible. You know, Europe is just a, mm, a roar of it. What am I at? I look at European history, where have you been? Are you moved on yet? <laughs> My home military. Yeah, United States military. Got it? Every one of you, you priceless, priceless contributor. Yes! Thank you very much for your quality of character. Wow, creation. Why would the Lord let this happen? You see why I hate my maker? Craters.